to this new Visual Basic tutorial. So, so far I've been making very small videos about very specific topics. So, I will still be doing that, but in a larger scale. So, um, instead of doing like if else statements, um, loops, um, if variables, you know, like input and stuff like that, I'll be making, for example, now a text based game. I do not know what you want to learn, so you will have to tell me if you want to learn how to make small programs that will like create files so that every time you start your computer it will essentially just shut down again or something like that. Something weird, you know. Something someone would probably call it a virus, or even though it's really not. Um, and I'll also teach you everything that there is to know in Visual Basic about that. Also, if you want to learn about hacking in general, I could do some classes on that. Of course, those will only be for educational purposes. I do not want you to go out there and start hacking on my behalf. So, but for now, we're going to do a very simple text-based game because I, where I left you, you still don't know very much about Visual Basic. So it will still be text-based, but it will teach you some more about programming, and hopefully, it'll it'll make you more comfortable with programming, so that you'll be used to it or somehow used to writing all these things. Okay, so in the game, since it's text-based, we do need an X and Y coordinate system, since we'll be able to move around with WASD or the um, arrows, arrow keys. So we're going to use, um, first we have like a world, uh, like world parameters. So we'll say world with or public, once we make all these public. public world with as integer is equal to, so let's just start out with like, I don't know, one fa or 2000, maybe more, yeah 2000, since we are going to make an RPG game, then we'll say public world height as inter integer, uh, and also 2000. Okay, and then we need to do like a start, or sorry, public start x as integer, or you can also call this for spawn x, um, yeah, spawn x as integer, and we'll say like, I don't know, 500 or such, um, public spawn y as integer, that could be 800. Okay, and you're not, you can make these random, but I won't be going into that right now. So now we have the world size here, and we have where you spawn in the world, the x and y coordinates. Okay, so right now we also we also need um, public um, position x as integer and public position y as integer. Okay? So pretty much what we have here is the world size, the spawn point, and some variables to define where we are at this current moment. Okay, so something I haven't taught you about is subs, okay? The main sub will be what it runs first, okay? So essentially what, what we want to do here is make the menu. So of course we want to do console dot write line, and you can do something like, um, I don't know, something like, yeah, let's do like a, a somewhat nice looking menu here, okay? Console dot right line, console dot right line, and then you can do something like, um, or, I know how you would do this, but Essentially, you can do whatever you want, and then I'm, I'm gonna make it very fine simple. So, like, type commands to show commands for the menu that is, um, and then that's pretty much all you need especially if that's how you want to do it. Um, it is a very easy way to do it, that is. You want to do console write line, console dot read 
line. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, you do that actually. Well, console. We're going to copy this up here because I don't want to sit here and try to be specific. Oh crap. There we go. And then you'll do something like control that right line. There is a lot of these um, specifically here, but and then we also yeah we also want to up here want to do um, pop. You don't have to make this one public, but it's it's something that you can do. So do public current command um, as a string. So down here we want to do current command is equal to console that read line. So we pretty much say that whatever the the user types in here will be the current command. You could also do something like console.write. So this pretty much just means it writes something but doesn't go to the next line. You can do something like that. Okay, so this right here will just give us this pretty much. Type command to show commands. Of course, as we haven't done any coding, if we do commands, nothing happens. So I'll do it like this and then put some parameters here, or single quotes that is. Sorry. Um, so down here we want to do if current command is equal to, let's say, um, yeah, commands, then, okay, and now we want to send it to, um, we could send it to another sub, which will make something, or it will make everything somewhat easy later on, but for now, since it's only in the, um, in the, like, the main menu, or start menu, it's quite easy. So you just do like um, console that right line um, type new to start a new game. And then type Oh well, that's all we need for right now. I'm going to teach you how to load games and stuff like that uh, in another video, probably. I think I'll do like maybe 15 minutes per video or something like that. Okay, so since we now say, oh look, this thing here actually say exists. Um, pretty much what we want to do is say, well, so right here we want to go back to main. So what this does here is we say commands and it goes back which is quite stupid we need to do console crap, dot read line and of course before we do that we'll do something like um, dot um, write line or just write really doesn't really matter I was going to do write line and then something like press any key to go back to menu. Yeah. There should be an E right there. There we go. Okay, so right here, what we want to do is just go um, console.clear. And the same thing we want to do right here. Here. So now, if we do commands, something is wrong. Hold on one second. Um, it says type new to start a new game. Press any key to go back to menu. Okay, so now we actually need it to do something if we type the the command new. We want to make a little bit of spacing here. Because there's going to be more. So we'll do if current command is equal to, and we'll do new, then, and we want to go to new game, which is this is not the sub that we've created yet. I'm going to create this sub now, and then I think that'll be it for this video. Okay, so up here in the public, we want to make, or in the variable. 
else that we have up here. Want to do public? Ah, sorry, my neck. There we go. Okay, so public, and we want to do char name as string. Want to do public? Um, I don't really know what. Should we make some class system or something like that? Hmm. Well, I think right now we'll just do public char name. And it gives us an error here because we haven't created this sub yet. So creating the sub, you just go down to here where it says end stop, end sub, and you create sub new game. There you go. And now it is existing. So again, we want to do like that. And then console.write line. Should probably have copied both. Okay, so once again, console dot right line what would you like name to be I should probably have done this a little bit bigger like that just copy it in up here to console that read line. Okay? That's pretty much it that we need right now. So when we do this right now it will just crash the game. But we do something like um, see here like hello or I will Let's try and run this. We'll say commands. It will give us this set of commands here. It says type new to start a new game. Alright, so we'll do that. What would you like your char name to be? Um, let's just say little. And it'll just crash because we have no uh, read line down here. Let's see here. We could always take this right here and place one right here. place one right here. And same goes for this right here. Okay. There we go. So pretty much right now what we have here is we just simply like console that read line. So new, little, I welcome you little. So pretty much except for the subs here, there shouldn't be anything here that you don't already know about. Pretty much just showing you that with all this you can essentially do most of the good cool stuff here. Um, I think in the next video we'll go over uh, like choosing some skills like strength and like uh, defense, like pretty much just strength, defense, and then if you want to be like a magician or something like that. Except I don't think we should do that. I think we should just go for like strength and defense for a beginner. And then we'll have to check from there. And also we'll go in the actual game, we'll make a little menu bar that tells you like you have this much life and this is your strength, this is your defense level. Okay? So this is it for the first video. We have these. We have assigned some um, world width and height spawns. We have a little menu here. Uh, the same goes for this right here. And or yeah, like starting a new game. This is the command stuff. Down here we have the new game where you pretty much just choose the name of your character. And from them, down here we'll make like in the next video we'll make the actual game like game stuff. Okay. And we'll make like a 
big line over here so we know what's going on, like a comment out of things, because you will need that because this will be quite a long program, mostly because of all the right lines, but that's the thing that you have to consider making a text-based game. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you would like to learn, pre please comment it down in the comment section and I'll make a video about that. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe if you like this video and if you want more videos to come out because otherwise we really don't know if I should continue making these videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.